two methods to fix error 7 problem while installing ROM from custom recovery mode. So hello and welcome guys. Welcome to Cracksoid YouTube channel and today in this video I'm gonna show you how can you fix your error 7 problem while installing ROM from custom recovery like TWRP, Peace Black or any other custom recovery. So without wasting time, let's get started. So as you can see here, this is Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna show you how can you fix your error 7 problem on this Redmi Note 5 Pro. And remember guys, this method works on every phone. So make sure you watch the full video without skipping and make sure guys you subscribe to our Cracksway YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. So now let's start our video. As you can see here, I'm in custom recovery TWRP right now. And to install a ROM, normally we click on the wipe button first of all. And then on advanced wipe button. And from here, select Dalvi, Catch, Data, System, and Fender. And then swipe. And then go back. And then click on the install button. And select the ROM zip file which you want to install on your phone. And for now, I'm going to install Havoc OS 2.4. So click on it and then swipe. And you can see here there is an error written here and the error is error 7 here. So that means we can't install ROM on our phone. And now the question is how to bypass this error 7? How to fix this error 7 problem? Well I'm gonna show you how to fix this error 7 problem while installing ROM on our phone. So for this we have to copy this ROM zip file to the computer and let's go to the computer. So we are in computer right now and you can see here I have copied the Havoc OS on my computer which has error 7 problem. So now what we have to do is we have to right click on the Havoc OS and click on extract to Havoc OS. As you can see here just click on it. Basically it creates a Havoc OS new folder and all the extracted files will be inside the Havoc OS folder. And you can see here the extracting process has been started. And this may take some little bit of time, so we have to wait. And finally, extracting process has been completed. And you can see here a new folder called as Havoc OS. So this is the extracted folder as you can see here. So simply open the folder. And then you will see some files, extracted files inside it. So first of all, open this meta-inf folder. And then open this com folder and then open this google folder and then open this android folder and you can see here you will see updater dash script here so basically right click on it and click on add it with notepad plus plus so make sure guys you have installed notepad plus plus on your computer so if you haven't installed Notepad++, then make sure you install Notepad++. I'll provide the link in the description below so that you can easily download this. And you can see here this kind of interface will appear. And here basically what you have to do is you have to delete the asset lines here. You can see here there are two asset lines before UI underscore print. So you can see here the first and the second are two asset lines. So you have to delete these two asset lines here. So simply select this first and second asset lines and delete them and put this UI underscore print on the first line so everything is done here now click on the file and click on save button so it is saved now now you can cancel this and now go back go back again go back again go back again and now wait here and simply select all these files so select all these files and folder you can also press ctrl plus a button and right click on it and click on a to archive and from here you have to select the zip format so make sure it is very important select the zip format and you can add it the name if you want it to I'm adding here cracksoid underscore so you can add the name if you wanted to and make sure you select the zip format and click on ok button and this is creating a new zip file 
named as Cracksoid underscore Havoc OS as you can see here on the screen and this compression process will take some time and I have another ROM that also have the same error problem so I'm gonna repeat the same process to the another ROM so that it will be easy to you to understand and you can see here I have another ROM called as Arrow OS and it has also the same problem it shows error 7 problem while installing from the custom recovery mode so we are going to fix this Arrow ROM also so first of all right click on the Arrow OS and then click on extract to arrow os and you can see here arrow os is also extracting here and it will create a new folder called as arrow os and all the extracted files will be inside the arrow os folder and the extraction process has been completed now open your extracted arrow os folder And then go to the meta-inf folder and open it. And then open com folder. And then open google folder. and then open android folder and then you will see a file named as updater-script so right click on it and click on add it with notepad++ and make sure notepad++ must be installed on your computer I will provide the link of the notepad++ on the description below so that you can easily install notepad++ on your computer and you will see this kind of interface and here what you have to do is you have to delete all the things before UI underscore print that means you have to delete the first and second assert lines as you can see here on the screen so simply select the first and second assert lines and delete them and click before UI underscore print and press backspace from the keyword and UI underscore print will be on the first line now click on file and click on save and now you can cancel this and now go back go back again go back again go back again and wait here and here select all the files and folder you can also press ctrl plus a button from the keyboard and right click on them and click on add to archive so first of all select the zip format it is very important and you can edit the name if you want it to I'm going to edit the name here and then click on the OK button and it will compress all the files in a zip format and as you can see here the Havoc OS and Arrow OS are compressing here and the compressing process will take some time so I will skip this process and as you can see here Arrow OS compressing process is completed And you can see here both Havoc OS and Arrow OS compressing process is now completed. Now open the Havoc OS folder and inside that folder you will see a file and this is the same ROM zip file that we just compressed a little bit ago. So simply copy this ROM zip file on your mobile phone. So right click on it and send to Redmi Note 5 Pro. And we have to do same thing to the Arrow OS also. So simply open the arrow OS folder and inside that folder you will see cracksoid underscore arrow rom zip file that we just compressed a little bit ago. So simply copy this rom zip file to your phone. So right click on it and send to Redmi Note 5 Pro. 
so this copying process will take some time so now our work in computer is done now let's go to the mobile phone so we are in mobile phone back and just click on the wipe button first of all and then click on advanced wipe and here select delvic catch data system and fender and then swipe and then go back and click on the install button and here we have to select the rom zip file that we added from the computer and you can see here the cracksoid underscore havoc os is the edited rom zip file that we transferred from the computer so simply click on it and then swipe and some guys might be wondering that if i change the mobile phone so well that's not because you can see here i have the error 7 that i got at the beginning of the video and finally the extraction process has been completed and you can see here this is the same mobile phone on which we got the error 7 problem while installing the rom at the beginning of the video and you can see here the error 7 also so we install the havoc os rom here now just click on the reboot system and then your phone will reboot here and this will take some little bit of time so we have to wait here and you can see here the logo of google here that means the rom is installing on our phone and as you can see here finally the havoc os 2.4 is installed on our phone and just click on the start button and this is the simple basic boot setup so i will skip this setup as fast as possible and finally we installed havoc os 2.4 on our phone and this Havoc OS is the most customizable ROM for the Redmi Note 5 Pro and it has lots of lots of lots of features on it and you can do lots of customization on it and if you wanted to know more about this Havoc OS 2.4 then I have made a separate video on it you can check the video will be in the description so that you can easily know more about the Havoc OS 2.4 now I will go to the custom recovery TWRP mode by pressing power button and volume up button simultaneously then I will be redirected to the custom recovery mode. And you can see here, I am in custom recovery TWRP right now. And I am gonna install another ROM, Arrow OS. So first of all, click on the wipe button and on advanced wipe and select Dalvik Cache Data System and Fender. And then swipe. And then go back. And click on the install button. And select the ROM file which you want to install. And you can see here there is arrow OS ROM. Just click on it and then swipe. And you can see here we got an error 7 problem once again. And as you know that to fix this error 7 problem we have to edit this ROM GIF file from the computer. And if you are watching the full video without skipping then you might know that I have already edited this arrow OS ROM from the computer and transferred to my mobile phone. So I will click on the install button and show you the edited arrow os rom and you can see here cracksoid underscore arrow is the edited os rom that i transferred from the computer so click on it and then swipe and you can see here the arrow os rom is now installing without any error and the installation process has been completed now click on the reboot system then your phone will reboot and this booting process will take some time so we have to wait here You can see here the logo of Arrow OS is showing here that means the Arrow OS is installing on our mobile phone. And finally Arrow OS is completely installed on our phone and we have fixed the error 7 problem. So basically this is the first method to fix the error 7 problem and on the first method we have to edit the ROM zip file. Now let's go to our second method. You can fix your error 7 problem by installing latest custom recovery, TWRP, Peace Black or any other custom recovery on your phone. If you install latest custom recovery then you don't need to edit the ROM zip file from the computer. So basically this is the second method to 
fix the error 7 problem on your mobile phone while installing the ROM. And I have a bonus method for Redmi Note 5 Pro users and this method will work only for the Redmi Note 5 Pro users only. I will show another method to fix error 7 problem for the Redmi Note 5 Pro users. And as you can see here, I'm in error OS right now. And I will press power button and volume up button simultaneously so that I will be redirected to the custom recovery mode. And you can see here, I'm in custom recovery TWRP right now. So to install our ROM, first of all, we click on the wipe button and then on advanced wipe and we select Delphic, Cache, Data, System and Fender and then swipe and then go back and click on the install button and select the ROM zip file which you want to install and for now I am going to install Havoc OS 2.4 here so simply click on it and then swipe and you can see here we got an error 7 here so that means we can't install this ROM on our phone so now how to fix this error with another method well I'm gonna show you how to do it so first of all go back and click on the install button so basically we are going to install another custom recovery on our phone so we are going to install peace black recovery on our phone so source for the peace black recovery so make sure you download these two files from the description below in order to solve your error 7 problem with this method so first of all click on peace black and then swipe and you can see here now the custom recovery peace black is installing on our phone and it will reboot your system here and you can see here the phone is restarting here and it will reboot to recovery mode come in, come in. I can sit you by the fire listen, listen. and as you can see here custom recovery peace black is installed on our phone so first of all click on the wipe button so simply click on the wipe button first of all and then click on advanced wipe and from here, you have to select the Dalvik, System, Catch, Data, and Fender, and then swipe. And then go back and click on the install button. And then click on 9.3.14 Oreo ROM zip file. I'll provide their link in the description below so that you can easily download this. So click on it and then swipe and the installing process has been completed now go back and now click on the install button and select the havoc os rom zip file on which we are getting error 7 problem and you can see here this is the same havoc os rom zip file on which we are getting error 7 problem so click on it and then swipe and you can see here there is no any error while installing this ROM now. And the installation process has been completed. Now click on reboot system and click on do not install. And then your phone will reboot here. There's something I must confide. I know I said that it'd be fine. And you can see here the logo of Google here that means the Havoc OS is properly installing on our phone. And finally Havoc OS is installed. Now click on the start button to begin the process. And this is the simple basic boot setup. So I will skip this setup. So finally Havoc OS 2.4 is installed on our phone and we have encountered the error 7 problem. So in this way you can fix your error 7 problem while installing ROM from custom recovery mode. So that's it for today guys hope you understand how to solve this error 7 problem while installing ROM from custom recovery mode and that's it for today hope you like this video and if you like this video just let me know hit that like button comment below if you have any kinds of queries suggestions or any kinds of problem and share this video as much as you can. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to our Cracksoid YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. So thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.